What's up? Cabino here. I got another story for you guys. It is about the first time I ever got suspended from school. And I know the title says I stabbed some kid. And did I? Did I stab a kid? You're going to have to listen and find out. It was in third grade. I remember my teacher was Mr. Thweet. Never liked him. He had a bald head. Weird look. He looked like a bird, kind of. He looked, he looked like a really tall bird. And, uh... Which now I realized, Thweet, we should have called him Mr. Tweet. Anyways, he, um, it was lunchtime. And I remember I was, or it was like a break. It wasn't really lunch. It was more of like a break where we got to go out and play recess or whatever. And I remember I didn't want to do anything that day. I think I was like drawing or something or like reading a book. You know, I, that kid, the kid that isn't on the freaking monkey bars. He's over there reading a book. I was being that kid for that day. And my friend Nathan was like, yeah, he was probably like, he was like my best friend. I don't think I had a, like a social group in the third grade. So he was my best friend. He was like, yeah, man, I'll read with you, dude. Sounds, sounds cool. And so we were sitting there reading and these two kids that were like grade four or five or something, like older than us, obviously they thought they were cool or something. They're like the, they were like the elementary bullies. And they were like, hey, Nathan, come here. And I remember I, I didn't care. I was like, all right, dude, do whatever you want. It's your freaking, it's your life, not mine. And they're like, uh, hey, if you run around the whole schoolyard two times, we'll give you something really cool. And he was like, he was pumped. I mean, we were a little kid, so he was like, okay, yeah, these kids are older than me. They're going to probably give me something so cool. Probably like a freaking naked lady or something. And, oh, pause real quick. You see that guy that just jumped over that wall and killed me? I shit my pants in real life. When that happened, as you can see, I'm not moving yet. I'm still wiping. Because I remember that scared me so bad. But, anyways, uh, back to the point, which was that they gave they gave Nathan something, and it, or they wanted to, if he ran around the schoolyard twice, and he was pumped. So he was like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Obviously, he wanted something. So... He starts running, and it was like one lap, and then I realized that I could hear them talking. The two bullies, we're going to call them uh, Dick and Balls. One was Dick, the other was Balls. So Dick and Balls are talking, and they're like, I don't know, talking about something. And then I overhear them laughing at my friend Nathan. They're just laughing at him, and they're like, yeah, we're not going to give him anything. What an idiot. Like, they're just completely making fun of him, and I find out that they're, like, toying with him. So I go sit over there to start reading my book. And they just, even though I was right there and they knew I was his friend, they were just still talking about how they weren't going to give him anything and how they were just messing with him and he's going to be all pissed and whatnot. And I'm, I'm a pretty normal person. I'm not a violent person. I'm not someone to act this way. But I remember taking my little boy hand, picking up my pencil, and it wasn't, I say the word stab, but... It was just like, it was probably as painful as a splinter because it was a sharpened pencil and I just kind of po I kind of gave his arm like a shot. Like that was the force I used. And like, I don't know if it, they bled or anything, but I remember uh, I stabbed the kid. I stabbed him with a pencil because he was making my friend run. And it, it, it was, it happened so fast. It was a blink of an eye. It was, they were making fun of him. They were stabbed. That's how it worked. And so he ran and told the proctor on me. The proctor came over. I remember most traumatizing moment of my life because I didn't know I didn't know how to deal with me being in trouble. I was a freaking grade A student. I know I was in the third grade, so that's not hard, but I was you know, I was like a little little angel and I just fucking stabbed someone. So here I am. And I got to go to the office, but they can't take me to the office yet because everyone's still on the playground. So they line up the kids and they're ready to be taken, taken back to the classroom. They line everyone up and I'm just sitting there bawling my eyes out. My little third grade crush was there, like just staring at me. My whole class just staring at me sitting and bawling my eyes out because I think I'm going to like prison i don't know how things work yet i think i'm i'm on death row at this point in my brain so i'm freaking out i get sent to the principal's office they suspend me for three days my parent my grandparents were really pissed because they were the kind of they didn't take care of me but i was with them most of the time 
and my mom was kind of like, uh, I'm, I'm upset, but at the same time, you were just protecting her friend. Don't do it again. So in the end, it was my first suspension. I realized how cool being suspended was. I think I just played like Spawn on the Sega Dreamcast for like three days in a row. Um, I protected my friend, which was also badass. And uh, I went back to school. And I remember somehow we we had to do this like joint classroom thing. Like I think it was raining or something. And so we were all in the same classroom. And I was with Dick and Balls. And I was sitting next to them. And I remember Balls, the one I stabbed, was like, Hey, man, I just, like, it didn't even hurt that bad. Like, I just, you know, it was, I just thought it was messed up, so I told. But, like, my arm's all right, and it didn't even, like, hurt that bad. And in that moment, I wanted to stab him again. Like, how the fuck are you going to tell someone who stabbed you that it didn't hurt and that you were fine? It's like, if I'm going to get suspended, well, now I know what's the coolest thing ever, so I didn't really care. But if I'm going to get suspended... I better have done some fucking damage. So I didn't even talk to him. Nathan, I don't even know if Nathan ever found out. Obviously, he didn't get his cool thing, but at the same time, he might have just thought I stabbed someone for no reason. So I kind of blew the whole thing for everyone. I'm a terrible person. I stabbed a little boy when I was a little boy. And yeah, I got suspended. The one of... Actually, I didn't get suspended a lot. So that was that. Um, this gameplay was me running high kill streaks. I've never done that in this game, and this was the first game I actually put on the Lodestar and Dogs, because I wanted to see if I could get Dogs, and I did, but it was with two kills left in the game, so didn't really matter. Final score, 33-4. and four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked the story. Hope you guys have never been stabbed before, and I will talk to you later.